What's up guys, Marbeck here with yet another video. So today I'm talking about the Zenny HD001 portable washing machine. In my experience, space is at a premium when it comes to small or tiny living, whether it be in a cabin or uh, a camper van or an RV. You want to maximize the amount of space, but I also knew that I did not want to go and spend a crap ton of money and time sitting in a laundromat that's just not my style whatsoever. So I started looking for portable washing machines. So I happened to go through a gauntlet of different ones. And this is the one that I eventually settled on. It's called the Zenny, Z-E-N-Y, HD001. Now, it weighs about 37 pounds. So it's not the lightest one that I could find. It's also not the smallest one I could find. But this thing does have a steel drum on the inside. Um, and it's fully automatic as long as you hook it up to a faucet and you run it through its cycle it is in fact fully automatic it will fill the the drum it will uh, flush the drum it will rinse twice and then it will also spin the clothes completely dry well I won't say completely dry don't get it twisted they're still slightly damp so you will have to air dry them hang them up either in the sun or already you know if you've got a hanging bar or something in your tub or shower that would work too so I managed to do just a few uh, probably like two or three loads of clothes on this first day and honestly it is way better than I was expecting it to be I know that a lot of people don't have much faith in some of the stuff from the Chinese market but for $167 I think that for the amount of clothes that I plan on doing it will probably pay for itself in the first three to six months depending on how much laundry I end up doing on a consistent basis. And that's really what you have to measure it against. It's okay how much time is it going to take me to load up my clothes, throw them in my truck, drive to a laundromat, then feed that machine there full of quarters and then sit and wait while I am guarding my own laundry from being stolen right out from underneath of me and if you put it in that context this thing is an absolute bargain I paid roughly 167 US dollars for this it shipped directly to my door I tossed it in the bathtub of my 1977 Avion Legrand and hooked it up to my faucet Granted, there have been several modifications to my particular camper. I have installed custom sink, a custom faucet, and I did have to buy an adapter for the hose. As of right now, I've kind of determined that Saturdays are going to be my laundry day, and whatever I've accumulated on Saturday, that's exactly what I'll be doing. I'll also be washing the dog blanket and possibly the rugs on my floors, and I'm guessing that between two to three loads per Saturday, that's essentially going to be my overall laundry workload. So this is the hose that comes with it, and this is the end that actually attaches uh, to the washing machine, which you know, obviously attaches fine because you know they know what kind of threads they were putting on there or whatever. But this side is garden hose style, so you will have to make a trip to Lowe's or Home Depot and get an adapter that goes from garden hose to your faucet. Because it's fully automatic, once you hook it up to your faucet, you just turn the water on and it will do everything. It will auto fill uh, for your wash cycle. It Apparently during the rinse cycle, it fills, dumps, fills, and dumps before it spins. So it's two rinse cycles. So you will have a full, whatever you put your water level on, it will refill that a total of three times. Once for the wash, two for the rinse, and now we're just about done with the spin cycle. And it is spinning really good. For such a tiny little thing, I mean this thing is cute. I would say it's maybe two and a half to three feet tall. So it's actually just below my waist. But I opted for this one mainly because on those side-by-side -side ones, the one where you've got the uh, you've got the wash and then you've got the rinse side. Most of the time, the rinse sides are.
probably three pounds smaller. They hold about three pounds less than the wash side. So you have to do that portion twice. So that doesn't make any sense. So I figured I'll just do a load and whatever I can fit in there, that'll be the load. And it'll wash and rinse and spin all the same. So it looks like the uh, spinner has slowed down. And should be pretty close to being done here. When you have the lid up and it tries to go into spin mode, by the way, it will give you a code called E2, error code 2, I, I suppose. And it'll it'll make that sound. It's not the most pleasant sound in the world, but it lets you know when everything is done. So all the things are now done in there. And let's feel how dry they are. Hey, that is not bad at all. I can totally live with that. That is that is just like slightly damp. This is pretty thin. That's slightly damp. This is a thick, like, waffle-style shirt because it was pretty cold the other day. That's a little bit more wet, but, you know, I've got a, uh, a dry bar here in the shower, so I'll just be throwing everything onto a hanger or whatever, and uh, I'll just hang it up there and just let it dry out right over top. It's not even, like, nothing's dripping, so I'm... I'm totally pleased with that. Now, you know, I, I don't know about longevity. I don't know how long this thing will actually last. But I do know that if you're going to be in this kind of small space, these things are just about your only option. Okay, so this was the load that I ended up doing. I just did a, a thin little t-shirt. I did two heavier duty uh, thermal style shirts, another t-shirt, and a pair of shorts. So realistically, this is the kind of load that I'm going to be looking at, you know, three or four shirts, you know, basically uh, a week's worth. This thing could have easily have handled more, a couple pairs of socks even, uh, some underwear, some other, you know, items, maybe like my uh, dish towel, that could have been used easily. And what I plan on doing is I'm just going to use my fan. It's an oscillating fan just to kind of keep the air moving around in here. And as you can see down here toward the bottom, I mean, the air is strong enough that it is blowing the clothes around so they're not they're not super duper heavy full of water and I, I'm not sure how long this will take to dry because I live in the modern age and I usually just throw all my stuff in a dryer but you know hopefully it doesn't take very long but yeah so that was my load four shirts with a pair of shorts and I could have easily have uh, put more in this load it would have it would have easily handled more so I am really pleased with the capacity. I am pleased with all the automatic functions that this particular washer has. Once I get the adapter, uh, I'll be able to hook it directly up to the faucet here. This drain is decent. I mean, it, but it also all also depends on like your configuration. So if your uh, sink is flush and it was further over, obviously this little hook isn't going to help you out much. So you might have to make a few adjustments, a few accommodations. So for this test, I just unscrewed the um, the shower head and just put it down in there. And then when the uh, sensor felt that the water was up high enough, I just removed the hose and then let it do its thing. And then when it went to rinse, I put it back in. When it went to rinse, I put it back in. And then obviously, <laughs> you can't even have the lid open when it's spinning, so... No chance of dragging that thing down in there during that process. But, yeah, once I once I get the adapter, I'm not going to have to do this. So I'm going to be running up to Lowe's probably later on today and grabbing that adapter. That way, when I turn this thing on, I can have it soak, wash, rinse, spin, all self-contained. I won't have to baby this thing. So, guys, um, that is pretty much it. It's a washing machine got it off Amazon it is pretty cool it is all automatic decent capacity I can't remember the exact amount I'll put it here on the screen for you though and um, really really quiet and just getting past the bedroom here and then coming into the kitchen area I could not hear it and 
there were no there was no noise there was no lawn equipment going on outside to help mask it either so it actually did work really really well i'm pretty impressed so and i will continue to stay pretty impressed uh until it starts goofing off and messing up because you know it's it's a chinese import i mean you just never know you never know what that stuff so I just wanted to share my first impressions, my first experience with one of these portable washers in my RV. Thanks again for stopping here at Avion Awesome, and I will see you guys again on the next one. Peace out.